Hi, and welcome to Mr. Edwards' GCSE PE Revision Sessions. These videos give you the option to pause, freeze, and rewind the lessons at your own pace. Balanced diet and the role of the nutrients. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify the seven key areas of a balanced diet, the role of macronutrients in physical activity and sport, and you should be able to apply your, your knowledge to a range of tasks. The seven food groups. Everyone that takes part in sport should eat a balanced diet to ensure their bodies are able to cope with the demands of sport. Eating a balanced diet guarantees that you will consume the right proportion of all seven components of a healthy diet. The seven different food groups. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, water, and fiber. These are the seven different areas that your diet should be made up of. How much should you eat of each component? The image shown here is the eat well plate. This should show you the sort of amounts of each food group that you should be eating. For example, carbohydrates with bread, rice, potato and pasta. This and vegetables should make up the majority of your diet, with things like fats, foods and drinks high in fat and sugar, making up the smallest percentage of your diet. Vitamins and minerals should make up around 33%. Carbohydrates should also make up around 33%. Milk and dairy, around 15%. Fat should be the smallest with 7% of your diet made up of fat. And finally, protein should be around 12% of your diet. Carbohydrates are the main source of energy for the body. They are stored in the body in glycogen and when we exercise, glycogen is used... Sorry. Glycogen is broken down into glucose, which provides the working muscles with energy. Some of the key points of carbohydrates. When supplies of glucose become depleted, less energy is produced and the performer becomes fatigued. It is crucial that someone taking part in physical activity and sports eat enough carbohydrates. How much of your diet should be made up of carbohydrates? About 50 to 60% of a non-performer's diet should consist of carbohydrates. 60 to 70 percent of a sports performer's diet should consist of carbohydrates. A performer needs more energy than someone who is not performing. This is because carbohydrates release energy over long periods of time which allows the athlete to keep moving. There are two types of carbohydrates. Simple sugars, these break down quickly and provide a burst of energy. And complex sugars, these break down slow and re release energy slowly, making them an ideal energy source for performers. For example, the pasta shown in this video will be used by a marathon runner because it allows the slowly and release of energy over a long period of time. Key term, carbohydrate loading, also known as carbo loading. A strategy used by endurance athletes to boost glycogen stores before a competition. How this is done? Athletes increase the amount of carbohydrates they eat a few days before a competition to maximize carbohydrate stores as glucose in the body. This will ensure they have enough energy to compete their endurance events. Proteins. Proteins provide the body with amino acids. These are the building blocks of human cells and are essential for muscular growth and repair as well as a healthy immune system. Good sources of protein or any of the sort of foods shown in the image below. One of the main source of protein for an athlete would be chicken or red meat, for example steak. Protein's main job is to build muscle. Therefore, if an athlete was trying to increase their muscle mass, they would need to ensure that their diet had a high source of protein or had a large amount of protein within it. Power athletes require a higher intake of protein compared to endurance athletes. On average, endurance athletes should eat 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram of their body weight. For example, an endurance athlete such as Mo Farah, weighing 50 kilos, should eat around 75 grams of protein a day, whereas an average strength and power athlete should eat 1.22 to 1.7 grams of protein per kilogram of their body weight. For example, the same athlete, around 50 kilos, should eat about 85 grams of protein a day. Fats. Fats are a essential part of a healthy diet. Consuming fat doesn't make you fat. 
It's consuming more calories that you burn off that will make you gain weight. Fats can be a good source of energy. Saturated fats, shown in the image above, these are classed as bad fats. There are two types of fat. Saturated fats, such as cheese, burgers. Too much saturated fat in your diet increases your risk of developing heart disease. The other type of fats are unsaturated fats, such as avocados, olives, salmon. They are much healthier than saturated fats and play a role in reducing your risk of developing heart disease. Therefore, if you can increase the amount of olives, avocados and salmon in your diet, you have a less chance or a least chance of developing heart disease. Fibre. Fibre is the name given to the ingestible parts of food and is essential for healthy bowel functions. It helps your body absorb some vitamins as well as removing waste products by providing the boat that is needed to move them through the digestive system. Fibre also makes you feel fuller for longer so you can eat less and are better able to maintain your optimum weight. It is important for a performer to start the day with a healthy breakfast rich in fibre because it helps the body stay in its peak condition. What has fibre in it? All of the image, all of the items of food in the image below are full of fibre. For example, bran flakes, brown pasta, brown bed, bread, pita bread, rice and porridge or oats. Vitamins. Vitamins play an important role to, in ensuring vital chemical reactions take part in the body. Vitamins are also responsible for making sure that bodily functions, blood production, are regulated. Vitamins can be found in fruits, vegetables, dairy products, oily fish, beans, seeds and nuts. Vitamin D is important for healthy bones, which are vital to perform them. Your body produces it when your skin is exposed to sunlight. If you're an athlete, for example, that were indoors, such as an ice skater, you can supplement your diet with vitamin D through tablets or eating foods such as eggs. There are 13 essential vitamins which are split into two groups. Fat soluble vitamins, which are stored in fatty tissues and are called on when we need it. Vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K and a beta carotene. Water soluble vitamins, which generally cannot be stored and must be replenished every day. Vitamin C, the six B vitamins, biotin and folic acid. Minerals. Minerals play essential roles in almost all bodily functions. Where do we get minerals from? Peppers, tomatoes, carrots, any of the foods shown in the image below. How many minerals should we eat? The amount of minerals we need to eat daily is actually very small compared to carbohydrates or protein. Most adults need about 1000 milligrams of calcium per day, but only about 10 to 15 milligrams of iron and zinc per day. These are all chemicals that are found within minerals. To function properly, the body needs a wide range of minerals, including the following calcium, chloride, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. Water. Water makes up 60% of our body weight and plays a crucial part to ensuring our body functions efficiently. What water does for you? It carries nutrients around the body, it keeps the joints lubricated, helps remove waste products through urine, and regulates body temperature through sweating. Symptoms of dehydration. So if you don't have enough water in your diet, you can suffer from dehydration. This is when you have a, a thirst, you have dark urine, a head rush, a headache or flushed skin. How to get water in your system. The best way to hydrate is to drink clean drinking water. However, there are other ways you can do so. Fruit juice would increase your water in your system. Milk, fizzy drinks, coffee, tea or fruit and vegetables such as cucumber and oranges. If you don't drink enough water, your body becomes dehydrated and it will not function correctly. This is vital if you are performing sports or you live in a hot climate. How much water should we drink? For an adult male, you should be drinking around 2.5 litres a day. For a woman, around 2 litres a day. However, small amounts should be drank throughout the day to be most effective. 
two or three times more than normal when we're participating in sport. Therefore, if you're competing, you should be ensuring that you're drinking high amounts of water. For example, a male athlete would be looking to drink around five to six litres of water while they're competing. Thank you for listening to Mr. Edwards' GCSE PE revision videos. If you have any questions, feel free to email me on damianedwards at kingselbarsha.com. Cheers. Bye.